Hello and welcome to today's presentation. Today's presentation is going to be on 4.0A1. Today's lesson is on multiplicative comparisons. Up to now you have been learning about additives comparisons where the focus was on finding the difference between two quantities. But now we are looking at where learning about multiplicative comparisons will help you compare two quantities by showing you that one of the quantities is a number or an amount larger or smaller than the other quantity. Let's look at an example. We can see that 15 is 5 times larger than 3, or we can say that 15 is 3 times larger than 5. We can swap the numbers around and say that 5 is 3 times smaller than 15, or that 3 is 5 times smaller than 15. Let's look at it this way. You have learnt to work out multiplication by writing an equation. Then you have been asked to put the numbers into groups and or into arrays to show you what the multiplication equation is really asking. Here's a straightforward multiplication equation for you. 5 times 3 equals 15. And this is actually telling us that there are 5 groups of 3, totaling 15. Or we can turn that around and say that there are 3 groups of 5, totaling 15. Because we remember with our commutative laws, we can do swap the numbers around with addition and with multiplication. We can't do this with subtraction and division, but we certainly can with multiplication and addition. The array here is just another example of exactly the same thing. We have five rows with three in each row and it totals 15. Or we have three rows with five in each row and it's totaling 15. This helps you to see that there is a very special relationship or friendship between the numbers 3, 5 and 15. We will continue to work with that later on.